Now, as with any end of year awards ball, there is, of course, a celebration, but there's also a tinge of sadness every year as, people, as our formal goodbyes to Celtic players and indeed colleagues who depart this great club. Could I ask now um, Sean Cronin to join me on stage, if you don't mind, please, Sean? Senior head coach at St Mary's Rugby Football Club, actively recruiting at the moment, so anybody in the room who's um, stuck for a gig and a couple of bob, I, I assume there's money being paid on here, 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 here. Not as few, that's a few, that's a few. Yeah, no, any, any big investors out there, meet them in the corridor afterwards if they're keen. Ah, geez, I'd hate to meet you in the corridor, I have to say, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, you know, people, people can remember the last number of years and um, your contribution on the pitch um, and everything that you did. But like, you started off in, in Munster as a kind of a, a rough diamond, want a better phrase. You were polished a bit in Connacht, but you were definitely finished off, you know, at, at the top level in Leinster. I mean that from a playing point of view, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, <laughs> you, must have, you must have some incredible um, memories and, and highlights of your, of, your, uh, of your career, particularly over the last while. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's been an incredible 11 years I've been here. Um, it's an amazing, amazing organisation to play for. Um, incredible group of players, guys that have left and com you know, come and go. Um, just countless memories, like Dan said. And I know the way you said you were surprised that Dan was up here. I'd say you weren't too surprised I'm here tonight. <laughs> so. But um, I know it's been incredible. Um, like I said, it's unbelievably well run organisation, coaches, backroom staff. My hero, Johnny O'Hagan. Um, so I've enjoyed every minute of it. But, I mean, you've had a really good career out of rugby. Rugby's been really good to you. I mean, as a young fella growing up, did you ever think that you'd be in a scenario where you can travel literally all over the world, you know, running with a really odd-shaped oval ball and um, trying... I thought you were going to say something. No, 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 don't worry about it, John. <laughs> Wait, that was off the record. Up at, uh, don't worry about it, John. Um, you know, and you can, you can go to, to rugby stadium pitches all over the place and get paid for what you're doing. I mean, gee, it's not much nearly as good as the job I have. Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, like, like, very lucky position to be in and to do something we love. And um, like you said, obviously I started off down Limerick. You know, good, good few years ago now. Woo! I didn't expect to get a move. That was clear. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, and that was just a journey that I went on. You know, I wanted to play professional rugby, and like I said, I ended up in Leinster, where I've spent unbelievable eleven years. Kids were born up here. Claire's here tonight, my parents are here, my in-laws are here, you know, so everyone, like even next year when we're moving back to Limerick, but there'll always be five Leinster supporters in Tolman Park going forward for the next few years, so. Can I, can I ask you about the importance of the clubs to this whole rugby um, kind of jigsaw? You know, like you're going back to give something to the club game, I remember when I saw you actually playing for the very first time, you were playing for Shannon. Um, you know, and that's where, that's where I came across it for the first time. In, I think it was an All-Ireland League final in um, Lansdowne Road, and I can't remember, I don't know, is it Dungannon or Clontarf? Um, Clontarf, yeah. Was it? Yeah, okay. Um, somebody popped the ball out here on the wing, and everybody, including with respect to our friends in Clontarf, kind of went, ah, geez, that's only the hooker who was out there, right? And had the ball here, goes, zoop! like kind of, you know, Jordan Larmer style, but straighter, if, if you know what I mean, like, yeah. Um, uh, sorry, Jordan, uh, I went straight, uh, went straight and scored. I think you got a try, did you get a try that day? I hope you did. Yeah. Oh, phew, thank God, Jesus, I thought I was making it up. Um, how important is it that you feel that, from your point of view, that you can give something back, you know, to the club game? Well, I suppose it's, the clubs are vitally important. I think you see a lot of guys went back playing AIL this year. Yeah the feeders, like it the guys that come through, that's where they, they make their bones and it's, it's really important for the game going forward. So I'm looking, really looking forward to getting stuck in next year. I spent a year doing it this year and I, I couldn't believe how much I enjoyed it. Um, so I'm excited about that, that, that next chapter for myself and seeing where the coaching route takes me as I go forward. Would you like to coach at the professional level? Just kind of feel your way through it Look, next you, one? You just never know. Like I, like I said, I, I, I really enjoyed what I did last year, I'm moving up to, to do a head coach role next year. Um, as Leo says, it's, it's a tough gig at the top, so we'll see how we go. And um, 
I just I'm excited because I want to try and do well, and then look, we'll never see, you never know where the road takes you after that. But you're going to leave with very fond memories of Leinster rugby. I mean, it's you've been here in the the golden era of Leinster rugby, if I can call it that, at the professional level. Yeah, look, the, the first year I came in, we won the 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 Champions Heineken Cup, Champions Cup, and I'll never forget that game against Claremont in Bordeaux, where we were on the line for five minutes defending, right. and that was the first real big taste of big time European rugby and. That's where it's been ever since, really. That's where the club has stayed. So, um, like I said, my family, we, we lived up here for 11 years, the kids and Claire, and the work they did, behind, Claire did behind the scenes to keep me going as well. So, it's been fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, can I thank Sean on your behalf for everything that he has done, the enjoyment he's brought on the pitch, even to the changing room with those silky moves, to be fair. Well done. Um, could be next year as well. You never know if anyone wants to hire me, so we'll see. Well, sure, we'll see what will happen. Plenty of networking opportunities here this evening. Can you put your hands together, please, and wish the very best luck in the future? John Crowley. <laughs>